Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a load balancer using Nginx on Ubuntu hosted on Google Cloud Platform. So, click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing. From here, simply click on launch because you want to create a new virtual machine. From here, customize your virtual machine, give it a name, choose the region where you want it to be deployed, scroll down and choose the required disk space, scroll down even more, accept the agreement and click on deploy. And then simply wait for the virtual machine to be deployed. Once the virtual machine has been deployed, you can access its SSH terminal by clicking this button right over here. Once you are logged into the SSH terminal, you want to write a configuration file. So for that we need to go inside the nginx directory. So the command for that is cd forward slash etc forward slash nginx. In here you can type the command ls to show all the directories and the files and you want to head inside the directory which is the conf.d so type in the command cd space conf.d in here you want to create a new configuration file so type in the command sudo nano and give your load balancer configuration some name so i'm going to call it load balancer dot configuration and then simply hit enter now in this file you may have an idea how to set up a reverse proxy if not you can click the link in the description box to watch the video where you set up a reverse proxy using the engine x so the very first thing that we want to do is that we want to use the keyword server, a pair of curly brackets and in here I want to listen to the request coming at port number 80. After that I'm going to give my server name which is going to be the IP address of my virtual machine. So I'm going to head back to Google Cloud Console, click on this hamburger icon, scroll down, compute engine and then VM instances. From here I want to scroll to the right and copy this external IP. I can even open up this external IP in a new tab just to showcase that my nginx is set up on my virtual machine. Now I'm going to head back to my SSH terminal, paste the IP address and end it off with a semicolon. And then at the end of this server tag, I want to add a location tag forward slash a pair of curly brackets and in here, I want to type in the command proxy pass and I'm going to create a load balancer with the name notes. But I cannot simply just type the keyword notes. I would have to use the HTTP colon two forward slashes. Once that is done, come to the beginning of the file. Now let's create this particular nodes load balancer. So type in the keyword upstream, then the name of the balancer, which is nodes, a pair of curly brackets. And in here, you simply need to pass all of the servers where you're going to balance your load. Normally, you would have multiple servers running on either multiple IP addresses or on the same local machine. So you type all of these server IPs in this particular section. So you type in the command server followed up by the IP address or the name or the domain of the server. But for this purpose, I'm not going to set up a separate server. Rather, I'm simply going to set up an IP address with a different port number. Now, this should help me see whether my balancer is working or not. So the very first time around, I wrote 8001. This time I'm going to type 8002. And for the third one, I'm going to type 8003. So this would be our load balancer. But since I'm not setting up some local servers or anything hosted on these particular ports, I'm going to use a logger to display the load balancer or the working of the load balancer. So for that, we need to come inside this server tag and right before the location tag, we would use the keyword access log and then the path to that access log, which is where forward slash log forward slash engine x forward slash access dot log and then I'm going to put a space and type the keyword upstream log and end it off with a semicolon. Now I need to specify the format of the log file that would be created. So come back to the beginning of the file and type in log format name of the log, which is upstream log and then single quotation marks. And in here, I'm going to pass in the variables that are going to be displayed to this log file. So we're displaying the server name and the upstream address and the request on the very first line. And then we're displaying the upstream response time by using the variable upstream response time. And lastly, we're going to display the request time by using the variable msec, which stands for milliseconds. And finally, we're going to end it off with a semicolon. So let's simply go through this. So basically we have set up a load balancer with the name of nodes, which has three particular separate servers. And we have set up a reverse proxy that every request that comes on the port number 80 would be proxy to this nodes load balancer. So let's control O to save the file, control X to exit the file 
And now let's check for the syntax. So the command to check syntax is sudo engine x space hyphen t. So looks like the syntax is perfectly fine. So now we can restart our engine x server by typing in the command sudo engine x space hyphen s space reload. Once that is done, we can reload the page and send a new request to this IP address of my virtual machine. But that would not work because we need to display the contents of the file where we are storing our log. So type in the command sudo tail space hyphen f and then the path to the log file which is forward slash where forward slash log forward slash engine x forward slash access dot log and hit enter. Now you can see the contents of that log file. Now I can head back to my browser simply send a few more requests to my virtual machine and yes we will not get any output on the browser because we have not set up an actual server on the backend. So after sending a couple of requests to my virtual machine server I can head back to my SSH terminal to see the contents of my log file. So as you can see that there was a request made from this server address which was forwarded to this particular address and if you notice the port number for the very first request it was 8001 for the upcoming request it changed to 8002 to 8003 and then back to 8001. Basically, every new request was handled to a different server on the backend. So that is how Nginx load balancer works. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave them in the comment section. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing of Nginx load balancer and also for the detailed step-by-step -step guide available on our website. And in case this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.